Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Impulse 57. Welcome to you, I'm Hakeem Johnson. I am your HCW commentator, as always, and we are live from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Well, let's try to start off on a high note here after last week, but you're probably going to be joined by the Jerrion Sane Alliance the ring. Being led by Tenchi Masaki with his cronium a team, Gohan Samurai Jagged Zero, the team that will represent the JSA at on June 5th at ACW Genesis, which is drawing near by the day. You cannot afford to miss that mega event. Yeah, yeah, go to hell. Screw you for that last week. Screw you! Son of a bitch. Lions have made it absolutely clear they plan to take out ACW by any means necessary.
Oh my god! Jumping famous, sir! No more laughing at it. You know, the short lines, Cap. That's enough of a freaking laugh. It's time to destroy. What the hell? Oh my god! Lester's got our second world strongest slam! Wow, big news already. Jaeger etches in two for the Cruiserweight title. That fusion has already been agreed upon by the two competitors. I'm telling you, ACW Fusion is going to be one of those big events that you cannot afford to miss on June 5th. No way possible. Wow, Ryoma versus Aaron for the second time for the Cruiserweight title after... Their first encounter for the title was more of a controversy at ACW Genesis. Two will try to settle it at Fusion. Cannot wait for that match, but here comes Zero, one part of the Jirai St. Alliance team that will be a part of that JSA ACW six-man elimination tag at ACW Fusion on June 5th at Madison Square Garden as ACW returns to New York City. Kenji Masaki stated earlier tonight, in our main event, it will be Gohan and Samurai Jack, the other two members of the JSA team, taking on Trunks, the Impulse Champion, and Naruto Uzumaki in tag team action. A big main event match that at least establish which team will get the momentum heading in to ACW Fusion. You can see from Zero's opponent, Solid Snake, who is surprisingly getting a huge reception here from the Green Pit repay crowd here. Now granted, if he was wearing a Packers uniform and put on his helmet and called himself Aaron Rodgers, the place would have exploded. But nonetheless, Solid Snake getting admiration from the crowd. That's typically not the usual reaction he gets, but with an ACW superstar going off against a JSA member, I guess you're automatically just loved by the crowd despite what they may feel of you personally. Saw a snake trying to get back into the action here. I think the last time he was in action was against Mugen a couple of impulses ago. I saw the debut of the invasion of Frieza. Now Saw Snake will be going up against a JSA member in Zero. You know Tenshi Masaki wants Zero to get the job done here right now to establish some forward transgression, some forward progression, excuse me. For the JSA team, and here we go, zero. A solid stick with a nice chop to start things off. Oh, and a nice spinning wheel kick. I do have to inform the audience here, the fans watching, that after this match, immediately following this match, there is going to be a sit-down interview with ACW's own Michael Cole. Yes, Michael Cole earlier this week established a sit-down interview with the man that shocked a lot of people. Here's the cover. One shoulder by zero by a man that really shocked a lot of people two weeks ago at ACW Impulse and that would be Lucas who turned his back on Ness and backstabbed him to not only cost them the Impulse Tag Team titles to win for a second time but also just cost them their friendship for so many years as Lucas went to town on Ness with that chair 
and we have not seen Ness or even heard from Ness ever since. But earlier this week, Mark Poole was able to have a sit-down interview with Lucas, and Lucas explained a lot of things as to why he did what he did. I think a lot of people are going to be su surprised as to why Lucas did what he did and how he's even kind of behaved now. So that interview will be shown immediately following this match that we're seeing right now in just a few minutes. Back to the action here, Solid Snake. Nice word of a suplex off the zero. Solid Snake going for another quick cover. One, shoulder up by zero. Solid Snake right now taking the early advantage here, keeping the zero grounded here for the time being. And if you're Solid Snake, I mean, you're not a beloved person here in terms of ACW uh, faithful, but you're going up against a JSA member. Zero the next four on. Zero now taking control of the situation here. Solid Snake trapped into the corner. Zero. Nice Larry and clothesline almost taking Snake's head off there. Now Zero has officially established the control offensive-wise towards Solid Snake. I tell you what, ACW, in my opinion, has really not been the same ever since the arrival, ever since the whole starting point at Genesis of the JSA, making their intentions known to destroy Anime Championship Wrestling, to make sure Anime Championship Wrestling does not exist. It's no longer a present reality here in CAW. Here's the cover. One, two, and a shoulder up by Snake. Which is a damn shame. You know what I mean? We saw earlier before the course break. And Snow oh, Zero with a nice diving lariat onto Solid Snake off the apron. Let's take a look at that again. Look at, look at this air he got here. Boom! Right onto Snake. Back live here as Zero sends Snake back to the ring. It looks like the team, um, it looks like the JSA team looks pretty uh, confident that they have everything. In oh, come on, look at this! Scraping zeros, I mean, sticks face into the ropes and then that splash from the apron. Here's the cover. One, two, shoulder up. Well, stating the, the JSA team looks pretty much well po polished and well oiled. They, they look like they are a strong team that cannot be broken at this point. But I can't. I have to be honest. You can't even say the same thing for Team ACW. Sent on there. Here's the cover. The rope break from Salt Snake. He just reached to get the ropes there. And the same cannot be said for Team ACW. Ryu obviously has been taken out of the picture. And I just want to say that I hope Ryu right now is currently recovering and rehabbing his injuries that he suffered last week on Impulse, which is sick, which is something that I cannot believe really went down. That really happened. I mean, it's not even about wrestling anymore. It's not about CAW. It's personal. But I hope uh, he's doing a uh, fine job, re job recovering. And same thing with Ken Masters. He suffers kind of a lesser similar fate. But I hope Ryu is doing well. Uh, make sure you guys, if you are on Twitter or Facebook, um, just kind of tweet out or post out for Ryu. Hashtag get well Ryu. Hashtag get well Ryu. So hopefully Ryu is... Um, Hopefully he'll be back in action, but that was sick, and I don't know what the future of Ryu holds in the near future. And now that Ryu's out of the picture, now you've got Sagat, the man that, in many ways, you can say saved ACW last week when it looked like Team HW was about to be destroyed right then and there. Now granted, Sagat will tell you that he didn't want to go there last time, and oh, the sit-out powerbomb by Zero on the snake. Zero with the cover. One, two, shoulder up. Now Sagat will tell you that he didn't want to help ACW, but the fact is that is exactly what he did. Sagat can say that he was doing it just because he feels the JSA have cut into what he wants to do in ACW, has derailed what he wants to do in ACW. Here's the cover. One, two, shoulder up. Who knows? But at this point, after Bruce go through, everybody on Team ACW, that is Bruce Star Ruder Trunks. They all need to get together. They need to understand that fighting amongst each other is not going to get the job done. It's going to make the situation worse. We are heading into fusion in two weeks. In two weeks to determine the ultimate fate of ACW's future going, going that route. And we cannot afford any infighting between ACW's teams. Or else JSA is going to have easy pickets with us 
and that's six man elimination tag. The battle of the battle of supremacy is upon us. And we need to make that a focus here heading into ACW Fusion. As you can see, look at this. Oh nice sit out front suplex by Solid Snake. Here's the cover. One, two, then the shoulder up by zero. That was a close pinfall there. Snake breaks it up. Oh nice neck breaker takes down zero. Oh, and then that's ever missed. Look at this. Oh, zero. Look at Wow. I hate to give the JSA members credit, but that is an impressive move there by zero. Looks like a, like a rollout powerbomb in a way. And now zero will take advantage of this. Nice octopus stretch there. Putting his uh, left leg over Solid Snake's upper body. So therefore, he's using his arms to stretch out the lower portion of Solid Snake's body. Solid Snake is bigger and taller than Zero, but that doesn't really help that much of his situation. He wants to at least power out of this submission hold that he's locked in right now. You know, as much as his arms have a lot of reach, it's not really close to the ropes here. Snake's trying to fight the good fight here. And Snake able to get out of it. And, ooh, and a nice counter with that sidewalk slam. He has the damage been done already. Snake trying to get some air here, goes back into the ring. Zero waiting for him at the ring here. Zero just taking advantage of Solid Snake! Big chop to the chest there. Zero has Solid Snake up here. Take to the chest. Oh no! Zero caught Solid Snake in midair! Backbreaker! JSA are just, they are just a cancer in this whole CAW world that we call CAW, obviously. And it's just, and it's just growing. You recall last week before that whole debacle with Ryu and how that happened, Ayaki was able to enlist the help and the intrusion of Iken Mark. Yes, that Iken Mark of Fire Emblem fame. Two people I would not have even expected to be a part of this type of cancer in ACW. Nice headbutt by Solid Snake from the top rope. Here's the cover on a rope break by Zero from under the ropes. So I was trying to say, I can mark two people that you would kind of think represent nobility and class and prestige and finesse and all those other synonyms are the ones that have been enlisted by Aika to join the JSA to help take down ACW by attacking the Straw Hat crew last week. I'm here and Ayaka is here tonight, so I'm assuming that Ayaka will address that situation from last week as well here tonight. Zero now brings Solid Snake back into the ring with that vertical suplex from the apron. Zero up top. Set on miss! Solid Snake played possum, got out of the way. Picks up Zero. Has Zero up. Zero gets out of that predicament. Nice jumping DDT. Zero might be looking to finish off Salt Snake in this match. Waiting for him. Salt Snake pushes Zero back. Salt Snake has him up. Zero once again gets out of it, with his out of it. So nice inverted DDT. Zero up top. Salt Snake ducks from behind. Drop kick Zero off the turnbuckle. Has him in a seated position. Salt Snake up top with him. Oh, this is going to be pretty big here. Oh, man, here's a super plus off the top turnbuckle. Most overused move in all of CAW. Salt Snake now, nice dragon screw onto the leg. Zero, going to buy him some time here. And oh, Zero with a nice poke to the eye. Like Tetri said earlier tonight, the JSA don't play fair, they play dirty! And that's a nice gut wrench suplex by Zero! And Solid Snake is in trouble once again! Could this be it? Solid Snake gets out of it! Nice arm breaker onto Zero! This could be o wait. This could be over! Oh, it is! Fuck down! He got it! He got it! Oh, wait a minute! There's Frieza! There's Frieza! Hey, wait a minute! There's Mugen right behind Frieza! These two have been going back and forth for weeks! 
And Mugen catches Frieza when Frieza was looking to interfere in this matchup. Good for Mugen. It looks like ECW is getting back on its right footing here. What the hell? Wait a minute. That's Brock. Gary up and out. What is this? What the hell is going on here? Brock. Wait. What? What is... Gary out here attacking Mugen. And a swole to by zero. One, two, three. And zero gets the win. But someone needs to explain to me why Brock and Gary O are out here assaulting Mugen. It's, 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 I can't even explain it. Confused as all hell here. And now Brock runs out of the ring. Dawson got a fly back. And now Brock's attacking Dawson. This is ACW employee working with. And now Samurai Jack is out here. You wait a, you've got to be kidding me. Are you telling me that Brock has defected to the JSA? Is that what is? Oh my God. That's exactly what's happening. That is exactly what is happening. Gary Oak and Teddy standing on stage together in unison as Brock has helped Zero and Jack take out Solid Snake. Brock has defected to the JSA along with Gary Oak. Oh my god. The cancer continues to grow. The cancer is continuing to grow within. This is not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Welcome back to Impulse 57. There was that Lucas interview with Michael Cullen. And I'm still in shock what happened before that interview even aired. And now we have Ayaka in the ring here to speak. As if I needed more JSA BS right now. Oh yeah, keep telling yourself that, bitch. We'll see you June 5th.
Oh man. I never thought I'd see the day, or more so would hear the day, that a overwhelming crowd here tonight would be booing in unison for those two men right there. I never thought I'd see this day, that Ike and Marth, two beloved characters from Fire Emblem, are getting a resounding amount of boos here at Green Bay, Wisconsin tonight. You think they were the Dallas Cowboys walking into Lambeau Field, trash talking. I thought they were Jerry Jones and Tony Romo walking into the Lambeau Field, the Lombardi Building just started trashing everything that the Green Bay tradition is about here. That's how it feels like with these two here tonight. And after what just transpired a few minutes ago with Brock and Gary Oak defecting from ACW and joining within the JSA, and now these two joining from last week of all people, the cancer continues to grow within the JSA. Like, I, should, I really shouldn't be surprised with Brock and Gary. These slime balls like to be friends with other slime balls, so I shouldn't be that shocked. shuts her up and that music can only mean one thing the striker there they are pissed off and all oh yeah there they are Ike and Marth running away from a fight again I thought I'd never see that too Ike and Marth former beloved heroes who would used to fight any kind of fight possible are backing away with their tails tucked between their legs now that they work for the JSA now that they are a part of that alliance now they don't want to fight anymore now they don't want the challenge against a team like the Straw Hat Crew. Well, the Straw Hat Crew won't back down. And the JSA better realize, especially I can mark, that the Straw Hat Crew are not here to play any games, especially when the Impulse Tag Team titles are on the line.
biggest night in anime championship wrestling history takes place at Madison Square Garden on HW Fusion, June 5th, two weeks. A three-hour mega event live only on YouTube and Fusion Studio. You do not want to miss this mega event. You cannot afford to miss this event. If you are a CAW fan, if you're an HW fan, only me, you have to stay tuned and watch this match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for our main event of the evening. And what a main event this is going to be to close out in the Street Championship tonight. As it'll be JSA versus HW. In a lot of ways, it's going to be a little bit of a preview of what to expect HCW Fusion. The JSA. I've looked to have been a dominant force here tonight. Zero able to be victorious in the Salt Snake. Brock and Gary O defecting from ACW to join the JSA as the numbers are growing. It seems like Team ACW has been infighting here tonight as well. Almost on the brink of an implosion here. And then you've got now I can mark getting their impulse tag and title shots at Fusion against the Shrine. I believe the Shrine did ask that match to be official. Here comes Samurai Jack's partner. Probably the most despicable person I have ever witnessed or encountered with in all of Anime Championship Wrestling's nine-year history. That man right there, Gohan, a very delusional, psychopathic, sick bastard that has done a lot of things in ACW ever since Animania 2. Former ACW Wimpful Champion, former Rose Destiny Champion, former Television Champion. Again, this is the way he wants his legacy to be remembered in ACW. You know, you hear a lot of people say that, you know, well, maybe there's just the old Goku, i sorry, the old Gohan, and someone still inside of this Gohan. I'm here to tell you this right now. The Gohan that you idolize, the Gohan that you remember, the Gohan that you thought was good, that you thought was here for the right thing, he no longer exists. You can believe all you want, you can be delusional, you can overthink it all you want, you can really try to be in denial for all I care. That Gohan is not the Gohan that you remember from years ago. This Gohan is sick, and this Gohan is psychopathic. And that's just the way it is. And it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame Gohan became the person he is. Because he's a great talent. One of the best talents I've seen in ACW in all history. But he used it for the wrong reason. It's a damn shame. Samurai Jack go on way for their opponents. Here comes Naruto Uzumaki. Making his way down to the ring. Naruto Uzumaki. Not a big proponent, not a big fan. This is the guy being Ryu's replacement on Team ACW. And, 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 I, and I get where Naruto's coming from. I mean, the guy is not a certain individual to be really trusted. The guy is a full party individual. And I think the guy will be able to tell you that before anybody else. So I don't doubt, I don't disagree with Naruto's uh, doubts for Sagat's participation in this team. But the fact of the matter is that last week Sagat was the quote unquote white knight in shining armor. Being able to save Team ACW from complete obliteration last week. Sagat took out the JSA pretty much by himself. And right now for ACW, that's what we need. I mean, hold your opinions on Sagat all you want. We need a guy like Sagat right now in Team ACW. We need someone like Sagat who will fight all the members of the JSA single-handedly and make them run down wherever they came from. And, I, and that's, that's just the fact of the matter. It just is. So whatever issues that Naruto and Sagat may have between each other, they need to hold that on. They need to say that until after Fusion when ACW can be victorious. Because that is fighting is not going to do a damn thing for anybody. Here comes the ACW Impulse Champion Trunk. Making his way 
down to the ring. Last time Trunks defended the Impulse Championship was at HW Genesis against his tag team partner tonight, Naru Zamaki. Trunks, you know, Trunks, you know, he's the one that is kind of in the middle here. He, he's got to properly play facilitator here. He's got to play peacemaker. I'm sure that Trunks probably doesn't have his um, great feelings towards Scott either, but he probably understands that Scott is a vital part, a, a vital part in ACW to get the job done at ACW Fusion. Hell, it was Sagat that saved Trunk from the beatdown from Jack and Trunk, I mean Jack and Zero, last week to end ACW Fistful. And when Sagat had the chair, he could have attacked Trunk, but he didn't. He just left. Here we go. Naruto and Jack will start off with their respective teams here. For our main event here tonight on Impulse 57. Crazy episode it has been. But then again, we've been saying that for all these weeks as it pertains to ACW Impulse. Naruto! Take that Samurai Jack with a nice back body toss. Nice integrity to capitalize. Naruto, another neck breaker, takes down Jack and knocks off this former D Generation X member, Gohan. And you can damn well bet that there's still bad blood between Naruto and Gohan. Especially after what transpired from Animania 3 last year at Madison Square Garden. HW Fusion will be there in two weeks, but... The match that was considered a match of the year contender, and to some people, it was the match of the year for CAW. In order to be successful in defeating Gohan in a match that was seven years in the making. Now outside here, Naruto and Trunks double team and Samurai Jack. Hey, like Goku stated earlier, if the Jirai Saint Alliance wants to play with fire, they'll play fire right back at them. Now we will send Jack, oh man, right to the turnbuckle post there. And once again, knock out Samurai Jack a little bit there. On top here, and Samurai Jack caught Naruto climbing. Close lunch trucks down, and Naruto blocks the punch. Chops Samurai Jack back down. There's an Irish whip. Naruto ducks under. Oh man, a nice job. Drop kick right there on Samurai Jack's jaw, obviously. Now Trunks has been tagged in legally for the team. Trunks and Naruto once again working as a team for Samurai Jack. It looks like Trunks and Naruto are on the same page. Not that that was any doubt. And a nice belly to bat by Trunks. Of course, no doubt that Trunks and Naruto were going to work well as a team. I didn't doubt that. It's the Sagat contingency in that team that's going to be the problem. As Gohan once again knocked off the apron by Trunks. Jack with a forearm from the apron, finds up top here, misses the Savat kick, chops from behind. Behind here, and Trunks, nice rotating back suplex, takes down Samurai Jack. Falls up with a nice leg drop, right down to the throat. And Trunks, wrestling very aggressively here. And as the Impulse Champion, that's the kind of reputation that he's going to cap the carry as champion. Ducks under. Oh, and an elbow right to the face. And Gohan knocked off the apron for a third time. Seems to me that Naruto and Trunks is making sure Jack doesn't allow for Gohan to be tagging this match. As if Team ACW is trying to make a statement here tonight. Oh, wait, there's Gohan for the apron. And Gohan knocks off Trunks from the top turnbuckle. And now Samurai Jack takes advantage. And that is what Naruto and Trunks were afraid of had Gohan been involved. Now Samurai Jack taking advantage, thanks to Gohan's assistance there. Now we'll take him to the JSA corner. Now Gohan finally has been tagged into this match. And boom, there's a 
body blow right onto Trunks by Gohan. Now Gohan, the fresh man here, into the face there. With Gohan, between Gohan and Trunks, there is definitely no bad blood. I mean, there is bad blood. It's, 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 it's bad blood between these two. As it was Trunks that defeated Gohan in the first place at the Royale Rumble last year to become the current Impulse Champion. And Gohan has not forgotten that. Look at that Gohan looking directly at Naruto. Very disturbing there from Gohan. Look at this Gohan now. Man. Jumping power driver onto Trunks. Far away from Naruto for to make any sort of tag towards him. Now Jack tags in Gohan. And oh, stop right to the midsection there. Samurai Jack and Gohan trying to isolate Trunks away from Naruto. The same way Trunks and Naruto was doing with Gohan earlier. So far it is working. Tenji Masaki trying to build an empire off of ACW's back. That's exactly what's going on here. Kenji Masaki used ACW for his own benefits to establish his own empire. And he has to only do that by taking down ACW. And we'll see on June 5th if it was all worth it. Trucks now. And go on once again knocks Trucks off the apron. Go on once again interfering. Illegally in this match. To their credit, they didn't say that we're playing fair anymore. So again, I shouldn't really be that surprised. Go on now, tagged in, and go on a jack. Nice double neck breaker onto champ, onto the Impulse Champion Trunks. Go on and, and Jack are just focusing on Trunks' neck here. Look at that, just an elbow right to the back of the neck. Gohan just stomping on the trunks like he's nothing. Look at this Gohan now. A nice armbar stretch onto trunks. He doesn't have him hooked up for a submission hold. The tags in Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack now with his elbow in the back of Trunks' neck. The front face lock leads to the gut by Jack. Samurai Jack now with a scoop slam taking down Trunks. Jack, Jack taunting Trunks here. He said, That's the right idea and then the clothesline takes down the champion. One, two, shoulder up and Naruto there just in the nigga time in case Trunks couldn't kick out. And Trunks down into the gut. Go to chop. Punch blocked. Punch by Jack. Pull your punches here. No Trunks blocks the punch. Punch by himself. This is the chop punch. Don't pull your punches here. Samurai Jack reverses the maneuver. Kicks him back. It's a Guri. As Gohan just took out Naruto. And now Gohan once again legally here in this illegally here in this match. Murphy needs to restore some order here. Gohan just coming in and out here like he damn well pleases. Now Gohan. Irish with trunks to the ropes. And oh, oh man, a double A spine buster. Now that was more of a triple A spine buster, but again, Arn Ar Anderson, in my opinion, has the best spine busters of all time, so that's why I call them double A spine busters. Learn your history, folks. Now go on to the work on the leg here. And a oh, and another knee to the face, and that one this time has. Open the blood of Trunks from the forehead here. So this is going to get ugly very quick. And I'm sure Trunks is looking for a tag for Naruto here. And Jack knocks off Naruto from the apron. Jack and Gohan working like a weld oil machine here in this match. They're getting all of Trunks' offense. Isolating Trunks away from Naruto. The cover. One, two, and Naruto with a save. Go on, trying to attack Naruto there, but Trunks able to get some opportunity to get some offense here. And no, Trunks holds on to the ropes here. 
but go on. Vertical suplex, house trucks down. Oh man, now attacks Naruto. Oh man, that go on is one. Oh man, that is one vindictive. I'll watch my words, but just just the just the uh, the presence of go on every time this kind of stuff happens. Now trunks trying to fight off this modified surfboard stretch. But go on's knee digging right onto the back. Right onto the spine of trunks here. I'm sure the blood all trickling down Trunks' face isn't helping the matter either. Trunks needs to find some way to get out of this predicament or else it could be over. Samurai Jack in the ring here, probably making sure that Naruto doesn't in interfere in the submission hold. But I think Naruto's confident that Trunks can be able to get out of this situation. Go on, finally, let's go. Misses the grapple. Grapple from front. Irish rips to the JSA corner. Kicks him down. Look at that. Oh man, pushes the knee right to the face. I don't know, is Gohan just toying with Trunks or is he really trying to put the effort to beating him? It feels like Gohan is being cocky that he can just put away Trunks. It isn't doing it. Here's the cover. One, two. The shoulder up. Look at that Jack and Naruto now fighting in the ring here. You can tell that the boiling point is going to start to break here any minute between these two sides. Trunks about to box some time now. Close lines go on down. And now Trunks shoving his knee right to the face of Gohan. Gohan ducks under. Oh man, a, man right in the knee to the back of his head. I think Gohan could be sent for the Masenko here if he can nail it here. Will it be? And Gohan has him. Gohan! Masenko with the trunks! Oh, that could be it! Here's the cover! One! Two! Oh, and Trunks shoulder up at the last second! I'll be completely honest, I thought that was it for Trunks. It looked like Trunks had no fight left in him. But I think Trunks is going to prove us wrong. Trunks is coming back with some life in him. The Impulse Champion fighting with the most valiant effort that he can here. Taking down JSA as much as he can. Oh, but go on still on the offense. Trunks. Rockets go on down. Knocks out Jack. Knocks out Gohan. And Trunks is bringing the crowd back to life here in Green Bay. The Impulse Champion knows what is on the line on June 5th and has to do what he has to do as the Impulse Champion to make the statement and to solidify his legacy in ACW. The crowd here is in a frenzy. As Trunks is fighting back with the most valiant of efforts. But Trunks, I think, needs to get the tax on Naruto. Naruto's the fresher of the two. Suplex brings Gohan back into the ring. And now Trunks. Knee to the gut. Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. A second one. Oh my god. Second Masenko on the trunk! It's over! No! 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 Trunk with a shoulder up! Two Masenko in a span of three minutes! And Trunk bleeding and tired and destroyed and beaten down! Still fighting the good fight against the JSA here tonight! This is the kind of champion that ACW should be represented by! Trunk's not letting! The JSA beat him down! Naruto! Trunks tagged to Naruto! Here we go! Takes down Gohan! Takes down Jack! Neckbreaker for Gohan! Naruto is in control! Team ACW in control! And look at the high tag from Naruto! Takes down his former partner in Gohan! Takes down Samurai Jack! And takes down Gohan with a neck breaker. Back live here, Naruto has the crowd in control here. Stomps the arm. Naruto is a Maki. 
from behind. And look at this. Big German suplex. Sends Go on inside out. Norrito climbing up. But watch out for Samurai Jack. Norrito saw that coming. Close lines Jack down. Norrito takes down Go with an enziguri. Team ACW has revived this Green Bay Wisconsin crowd into an absolute mayhem of reactions here. Naruto on top. Go on down. Frog Splash connects on to Gohan. This could be it. One, two. Oh, and Gohan shoulder up. What a difference a, year, a week can make. Last week it looked like Team ACW was on the brink of implosion. Tonight it looks like ACW is more solidified than ever despite some few things happening tonight. Here's the cover. One, two. Oh, Jack broke it up. Neck breaker on to Gohan. What a main event. A lot of emotion. A lot of history between these two teams. A lot of action. Just keeping the crowd here in suspense. Naruto. Bulldog on to Gohan. Wait a minute. Backstage here on the parking lot, Goku has been knocked out and found unconscious from the security guard. And Naruto and Trunks have no idea that Goku is right now unconscious backstage. What the hell is going on here? Naruto still fighting the good fight. Kicks go on Scott. Shonen jump. No. Tr oh, go on reverses into a nice back body toss. And now go on could be looking for the psycho. Trump's took it out by Jack. This could be the final death nail for ACW. No. Go oh, back suplex. Oh, look at that. Naruto taunting Gohan. Hell, Gohan is going to do it. Naruto will do it right back to him. What a night. What a match. Look at this. Inverted neck breaker. An elbow drop connects. But we need more updates on Goku. Hey, wait a minute. Tension with a chair. But I think we found our answer as to why Goku's been unconscious. Tension just brought a chair. And Jack just took a trip off the apron here. Jack into the ring here. Oh, come on. And there's a disqualification. But I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure that's not the whole story of this, of this aftermath here. And then Samurai Jack has trunks on the Japanese announce table. I don't like where this is going. No, no, no. No, 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 not the lifting, jumping DDT. No, no, go on, no! And Trunks took it out to the Japanese announce table. It's Tenji Masaki with Sujan! Sujan took out Tenji! Sujan took out Tenji! And now Gohan's waiting! Here we go! Sujan giving those blows to Gohan and tosses him over the ring! Wait a minute, that's freezing out of nowhere! And oh my god! Sagat just clotheslined! No world accident and go on! A spear out of nowhere onto Sagat! Of the mistake! And now Tenji directed traffic, telling the JSA members to take them out! Jesus Christ! This is ridiculous! Damn it, not this way! Where it looked like Team ACW was finally on the right projection! The JSA coming here! to ruin it, and there's the rest of the JSA applauding, applauding for what, what's, what's happened here tonight. Folks, AEW Fusion's on June 5th. The landscape of anime championship wrestling in CAW will change forever. Who will walk out the victors?